Tour de Monestier comes from the appellation of Bergerac, which is located about an hour and a half due east of Bordeaux. The soils tend to be clay and limestone. The grape varieties we find out there are pretty much the same ones we use in Bordeaux, namely for the white wines, Sauvignon Blanc, Sémillon, and a less well-known grape called Muscadelle du Bordelais. It does very well out there, gives some interesting floral, honeyed overtones to the wine when used in the blend. This is a new project. First finish was only the 2006, where the white wine is concerned. My good friend Stéphane de Ronencourt is the hands-on consultant here. Uh, the fruit for this wine is mostly hand harvested. The wine is fermented at cool temperatures in stainless steel tanks in order to preserve a maximum fruity freshness. The wine is then aged on its lees to give it a little more volume, a little more fleshiness on the palate. It is bottled in the spring following the vintage. And what I think is a great idea and should be copied is we have finished it with a screw cap. So we don't waste corks on wines that are intended for early consumption. And also, should you not finish the wine after opening the bottle, although this doesn't happen very often when we open it, you can put the screw cap right back on and stick it back in the fridge and it will keep it fresh for several more days where stored in the fridge. The wine is full of ripe, exotic fruit flavors, aromas. I get citrus, I get lemon, I get grapefruit. Maybe, maybe a hint of some tropical, tropical fruits, uh, possibly lychee. It's just a pleasure to smell, and it's probably the reason that I enjoy it so much just as an aperitif wine. It's got so much going on by itself that it's probably how it's best enjoyed. It's surprisingly full-bodied, yet very buoyant, vibrant on the palate. The acidity is there to keep it lively. Very long finish, very aromatic. Some of the same fruit sensations come through on the palate that we experienced on the nose. Wonderful aperitif. You could certainly enjoy it with some foul poultry dishes, uh, some lighter charcuterie, and, and definitely with cheese. What's little known to most people is most cheeses actually go better with white wines than they do with reds. And this would certainly be a good foil for a number of cheeses, including goat cheese.